Shout out to Mason Rudolph becoming a quarterback mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. after the first quarter there. A lot of people are calling for the duck. I just want to let you know. Quack. I was quack. one of them. Quack, 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 A lot of people are calling for the duck. Well, he looked like he was throwing a balloon for the first quarter. <laughs> he did. It did appear as if he was at <laughs> like, like a. It was like going 40 yards in the air with no velocity. And then he was like, oh, okay. I mean. It was windy. Uh, he, was, he was off for 22 days. You, dude, good defense. A, he was at Party City. He looked like he was throwing. That's exactly what it looked like. I mean, he was he was talking some prayers down there, but uh, it seemed like they got the win, which is good. A lot of James Conner, but maybe no more James mm. Conner. Can a brutally injured Pittsburgh Steelers team sustain without James Conner? Now, first Ben, now James. What's next? He'll be okay. I played like with that. S- I've played with that injury before. It's not. It's not bad. I didn't have tort doll. <laughs> <laughs> I had a grade three. What is it? It's AC, a AC joint, joint in your shoulder. Okay. Oh, yeah. But he's playing running back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not comparing myself to James Conner. You Connor. literally I think you just, just did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I've had the injury. All right. I can respect it. Uh, we'll talk about just that. Just like you and bit. Mahomes had the same injury. Yeah, but his bunt back in. Mine stayed out. correct. So some would argue mine much worse, and I didn't miss a game. <laughs> So, it's true. I mean, I don't Whoa. want to talk about it. Oh, that's a great point. I only have to take three steps, though. That is a <laughs> three fact. very important steps. We got a good second half football coming up, especially if the Dolphins are going to continue to tease their fans. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I love most about last night. Is like if you're a Dolphins fan, you're excited that they're tanking. You're excited that you're going to potentially get the first pick of the draft. You're like excited, like, hey, at least our team's being proactive. You know, like Gumpy was sold on it. Mm-hmm. Gumpy was like. Hey, pal, like, we stink anyways. <laughs> He's like, what's worse? Don't eight and eight and stinking again and or six and ten, whatever it is, every single year? Or at least actually go for it and try to make our team better. And I was like, all right, if you guys are buying in, let's do it. They start trading everybody out of town. And these last couple of weeks, it's like, hey, they're getting close. They're getting very close. And whenever it gets too close, you got to. You got to call cover zero <laughs> <laughs> against Mason Rudolph in a third and 22. You have to. Wild play call. Wild play call. Now, granted, a lot of people are like, well, it works for the Patriots. It's like, hmm. are we dealing with two very different teams or not? <laughs> yeah. Are we Are we not dealing with two very different teams or not? I mean, that guy was sitting back so far off him, and nobody yeah. passed him off. I mean, it was just like a, uh, a 25-yard cushion. Listen, I'm assuming that play call could be good in some situations for some people. Now, granted, you're playing Mason Rudolph. Something to think about. I think that should be factored in that uh-huh. you're playing Mason Rudolph. At a time when Mason Rudolph... I think even Mason Rudolph would admit that at that time of the game, he could he literally could not hit the side of Heinz Field if he had to. At mm-hmm. that point of the game, he had graduated from throwing the balloon to a kickball. <laughs> Second half, he started throwing a football. Dodgeball, yeah, because he was at like yeah. a dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you that, could... that was a wild thing, but that's what can happen, though, and that's what makes me think, like, people can control whether or not you win games, and it's not players knowing. Like, the players don't know, right? We don't want to tank. We want to make money. We want to live a happy life. But that play call last time made me go, wait a second. Is it even more interesting that they called that with the lead like they had? Because you would yeah. think, let's contain and force a field goal, right? Because you were up like 14-3, right, when that yeah. happened? Yeah. Or, or just play a basic defense. Just, <laughs> yeah. just whatever you got. There's nothing from the Pittsburgh Steelers that have proven that they can gain 22 yards in one play. Mm-hmm. Not a single thing. Right. Yet. So, I mean, all out blitz, I mean, if you've been doing that every single play and that's been working, I mean – Good, good for you. I mean, I guess you keep doing it. But it didn't feel like they had done that all game. It felt like that was like a trip, like the first time they really sent the house. It's like, what are we doing here? I mean, I get it because you put pressure on Mason Rudolph, Mm -hmm. which makes him probably take a sack or something like that. But on the flip side, I mean, it's just not a very uh, risk. Uh, Cover zero doesn't literally mean cover zero. No, what is it? (laughs) It's like pros, not pros and cons. Risk reward. Risk evaluation, I believe is what it's called. Where you, Mm -hmm. uh, you, this was in the staircase. This is what the dude that was on uh, trial Mm -hmm. said. He said, life is one big risk evaluation in every decision you make. And I was like, that's pretty profound, I think. It's like, is it worth it or not? Mm -hmm. That particular play call, not worth it. Like, not worth it at all. And that's why the Dolphins are the Dolphins. But their fans had real hope. I had hope as a uh, non-Dolphins fan was just like, oh, this is awesome. Now the Bengals are going to get the first pick of the draft because they can't even try to do this. You know what I mean? They can't even potentially get a win. And instead, 
Same thing happens. They start losing after that. Good for Mason Rudolph getting a W in it, Pittsburgh. It does feel like it's an intentional tank because almost every week when they – or you, like, you can tell in the game when they're like, all right, this is getting out of hand. Three weeks like, in we a row. Got, they just, boom, just start turning the ball over, like bad interceptions, bad fumbles. It, it's, it, it's a little wonky. How about when – how about when they had to go for two there for the win? <laughs> and that play call was very suspect. I mean, that was a very suspect play call. That's like a third and long play call. Mm. That's a very interesting thing to call in that particular situation. Like, you can't help but be like, wait a minute. Good for the uh, people that bet with FanDuel and had to hit Miami plus 14. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been saying for like four or five days, that seems like the biggest lock I've ever seen. Now, granted, if that line was 13, I would probably say that's about right. <laughs> <laughs>